Hello and welcome to Interactive CAD. My name's Chris and today I'm going to be covering the basic user interface for SolidWorks. So I will, firstly I'll start with the menu bar here at the top. So this is your standard Windows menu bar. Um, file, open, print, undo and then you've got a little cog here for settings as well if you need to go into the settings for the software. Um, I'm going to click on new. Uh, there are three types of files within SOLIDWORKS. You have drawing, assembly, and part. For this tutorial, I'm just going to open up a part file. I will touch on these a lot more in other tutorial videos. So, um, I've already touched on the menu bar at the top, which is your standard Windows menu bar. Apart from now, it's got rebuild at the top, which changes it, re uh, reloads any features that have changed. Your file properties, so this is just your properties for your CAD file that you're going to create, add revisions and so on. I'll touch on that in another video. And then you've got your settings again. So here at the top, you've got your command manager. So your command manager along the top here is a toolbar that contains your most frequently used tools. So it has various subsections such as surfaces, sheet metal, sketch and so on. So depending on what you're actually doing, um, it's arranged in a tab manner, so if I start sketching, I'd have the sketch tab open. If I'm making 3D features, you go on to features. Um, just moving along now, on the left hand side, you have the design tree, uh, slash feature manager. So any feature you create in this graphical window um, appears on the left hand side. So just to give you an example, I'll just do a sketch on the top plane. I'll draw a cylinder. I go to features, extrude it, take it. So I've just got a little cylinder here. It was created using a boss extrude, which is now in on the left hand side in the feature window. And so is the sketch if I want. So if you ever want to edit your features or sketches, you just click on the feature, right click, you've got edit feature, edit sketch. So if I wanted to edit the sketch, change the size of it like that. Or you can edit your feature if you wanted to just change the actual 3D size of it. So that's just a little um, insight into the feature manager. Also, you have the configuration manager. So you can have multiple configurations of one part. So if I just quickly do a cut through the middle of this cylinder. So the, the default, this cylinder has a hole through it, but I can change that by adding a new configuration, calling it just configuration one for now. So default and one are both the same configuration, but if I suppress my cut on configuration one, which is there, suppress. And go back to my default so you can have them you can have multiple configurations in one part file and they'd all be listed down here um, at the bottom here you have um, your status bar so I'm currently editing the part and if I've clicked on custom here and that's your unit so milliman millimeters gram second you can change it to inches and so on and also if you click two surfaces you do get a measurement there, which does come in handy if you want to just quickly measure something while you're modeling. Um, you also have the graphics area, which is obviously here. Um, anything you model in SolidWorks will appear in the graphics area. To control the graphics area, you have a heads up toolbar here. So this is zoom to fit, zoom area. So, uh, and then you also have section if you want it to section a, a part. So just to quickly go through the section until I did that quite quick, all I've done, all I did there was click section at the top. It comes up with this bar at the side. You click what plane you'd like to cut through the part. You can move it. You can move it with the arrows on the graphical window, and then you can tick it, and then you do a section. And if you want it to go away, you just click section view at the top. You also have to, to get a bit more advanced. You do have a view cube as well. So if you click view orientation, you have a cube there. And you can select where you'd like to view it from. 
Also on the right hand side here, which comes in handy quite a lot, is your design library. If you have standard parts, you can put them in these design libraries and drag them and drop them in. Um, so I'll touch on this a bit more in another video. And that is just a quick summary of the user interface for SOLIDWORKS. Um, if you've got any questions, please leave some comments. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. If you found it helpful, um, there's plenty more videos to come. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope to see you soon.